You're supposed to be upside down. Oh, okay. Good morning, everyone. I'm at the new house right now. A lot has already happened today. We're getting ready for the big move. Tomorrow is a packing day, and unfortunately, I will not be there for that because Parker and I have to go to LA for a special like film shoot thing. I'll tell you more about that later. I've been really busy trying to get all of our stuff organized and ready for the move so the movers can come in and do their jobs. So I set up this rack over here. This is all my magic stuff and film equipment. I also took all those old shelves and built this wall thing here. This kind of exposed wood, kind of cool looking thing. We're gonna put Jacob's drums in front of it and light it up pretty cool. Hopefully it'll make for a cool backdrop for filming videos and stuff like that. Maybe I'll do what we learned today in front of there. And right now, I have to run and go get a haircut. So take a good look at these beauties because they're getting shorter. Look at me, I am walking around my house and I don't have a baby in my hand. Christopher is at the old house tearing down shelves or something, whatever. <laughs> whatever massive amount of work he's been doing lately. Who has the baby? It is our surprise guest, Stephanie. Hello. Hi, I Stephanie. Cuddle all day with him. Stephanie. So I called Stephanie yesterday and I was like, oh my goodness, we've gotta be moving really soon. I don't know what to do. Can you please just come hold the baby for me so I can be like running around and unpacking myself. So she was like, yes. yes. Stephanie, look at this hero. I'm so lucky. <laughs> oh, and I should say, for those of you who don't know who Stephanie is, she is Christopher's cousin. They're very close in age and they grew up together and she's like dearest friends with his siblings and such. So this is Stephanie. Sorry, I started looking at my baby and I got really distracted and <laughs> stopped thinking about filming. He Look has that effect guy. on people, for sure. Such a little bunny. Get lost in his cuteness. Little squishy cheek. Cutie. Moving, I'm so excited. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my shirt today because I really like it. I am so tired. It's like the most perfect new mom shirt. Actually, Christopher hadn't seen it yet and I was like, Christopher, you're gonna love my new shirt that I just got. And he was like, I'm gonna take that shirt. <laughs> so he, he was really jealous. He thought it was pretty cool. He wants my shirt, it's a good shirt. Jacob's buddy Isaac has come over and they've been playing together. Looks like they're playing hide and seek. Yep. It's very serious. You may have seen her from afar, but Aunt Cindy and Aunt Kathy are over. That was Aunt Cindy. And, oh, where is she? <laughs> There's Aunt Cindy. Aunt Cindy and Aunt Kathy are Christopher's aunts, and they are his dad, Tim's, sisters. <laughs> so, now you know our entire family tree. <laughs> or I should say Stephanie is Oh man, this is melting my brain. Okay, I'm sure you guys feel similarly. Stephanie is Christopher's mom's brother's daughter. So that's who Stephanie is. Now you know the whole family tree. Oh, what's going on? What is this noise? <laughs> what are you doing in there, cute? Oh, there's Aunt Kathy. This is Parker, he's wearing my jacket from Brooklyn, New York, because he was shivering outside with those blenders. So this is Aunt Kathy. <laughs> And they are hiding, so I'm gonna not give away this spot. Christopher is at the old house and he's like packing up his guitars and such. We have movers coming tomorrow to pack up our old house. They went around and looked at what we had and they were like, oh, you've got guitars? I'm gonna be real, you don't want us moving your guitars. <laughs> so we appreciate that. They said they probably messed them up, so <laughs> Christopher is packing up guitars and drums and things like that today. And then we are also trying to figure out things for sure that we're like gonna donate and let go of so that we aren't moving it to the new house. Like we just wanna have the things that go in the new house be at the new house and not things that don't. So that's the goal for today. And it's actually a lot of work because we are kind of a mess and we do have a lot that's accumulated and things that aren't necessary and whatever. So we're figuring all that out today. Just in one day, I just figured it out. So that's why I'm really glad Stephanie's here. How's he doing? I think I get to go back to being with 
my baby again because I think he's ready. To be real, I missed him. I've been doing some work, so I'm like, all right, I'm fine with sitting down and cuddling with my baby again. But I've also been really glad Stephanie's here because it's fun. It's fun moving into my new house. It's work, but it's fun. I'm in my office at the old house, and it's time to take the guitars down. So these guitars are going to the new house. Let's do it. Can't forget this little guy. So here's the new setup that we've got going here. Drums, now on a rug. Thank you, Ikea. They didn't sponsor us, I just, I bought it. It was the cheapest rug. That's why it's orange. It's the cheapest rug that they had. I bought it with my money. It's not a sponsorship from Ikea. My guitars are up there. I think this looks super cool with that backdrop there. I'm thinking about possibly putting my ukulele there. Thinking about it, I don't know. What do you guys think? And then my amp and like stuff is gonna go there. And we'll probably eventually paint this like black around here just to kind of keep it, keep the focus. But I think this is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Parker, what are you doing? I'm doing this. <laughs> doing a thumbnail doing this. That's it. It's a pretty good thumbnail. Oh. Wait, was that your trick way of getting to play the drums? Because I said, don't play the drums, and you were like, I'm not playing the drums. I'm getting a thumbnail. And now he's playing the drums. Sneak. You're a little sneak. <laughs> You're a little sneak. Let me do something. Hey, Parker, what is this position called? You're supposed to be upside down. Oh, okay. See? Yes, and what's this position called? Headstand. You're pretty good at that. Got any other cool positions? Show them your cartwheel. I'll show you a cartwheel. Oh. Oh. Go ahead. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. I have a question for you. I, I do. I've noticed your shirt going up a little bit, uh -huh. and there's something on your tummy, and I want to know what it is. What is that? It's a tattoo. A tattoo of what? Um, two elephants. Two a baby elephants? one and a mommy one. And where did you get those elephant tattoos? Um, at Grandma's house. Yeah, you went to Grandma's house and came back with tattoos. That fidget spinner is just your size. Ah, I'm running. Ah, ah. Let's be real here for a second. I've been meaning to tell you for a while, those who have not had children, why the mom bun exists. I know you've seen it. It's a bun like this. I wear my hair in it all the time. When they're newborns, they puke in your hair. They puke, and if you have hair here, this is where burping and puking, like you lift a baby up and they just go So, of course today I was like, I'm gonna straighten my hair, I'm gonna be awesome. This hair is covered in puke. You can just know if this is my reality. It has been wet wiped and like tried to wash off, but it still smells of puke. And I did wash it today and it was like all cute. <sighs> I just wish I had done the mom bun because then I wouldn't be reeking a puke right now. <laughs> so when you see a mom bun, don't go like, oh, moms are so lazy. What are they doing? They can't even do their hair. It's not that hard. Don't do that anyway because moms do not deserve that attitude. They are working hard. <laughs> but second of all, it's also very, very, very practical because it's just you just don't want puke in your hair. You don't want to walk around with puke in your hair like me. Have you ever considered straightening your hair and then putting it in the mom bun after it's straightened? 
ever in my life. Just just for that one moment of where you can go, here, hold this with the baby and then let it down like that. For sure. I feel like that's a moment <laughs> worth prepping for, really. Don't you think? Sure, would you like to hold the baby for me for an hour in the morning? If when you hand it to me, go hold this and then do that, <laughs> I think that'd be pretty funny. But for no reason other than like the theatrics of it is, is kind of funny. No? Okay, yeah, Nobody I'll do that for this. theatrics. I've got a lot of time in my life right now for just prepping theatrics. <laughs> you too, right? I prep things all the time. I've got stuff on the ready. <laughs> you never know when I'm gonna pull out something theatric. Theatric? How about you pull out the word theatrical? I'd be impressed with that. Hi. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that cute babies are distracting. We learned that it's easy to do a backflip. All you have to do is have a grown-up pick you up and flip you backwards. And finally, we learned that you should never question my theatrics. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>